We are in the midst of a global pandemic. We're constantly bombarded with news about death, financial ruin, political and racial divides, general pessimism of all kinds, and it is bound to impact us emotionally. You know that these emotions can also impact the way we treat others. And did you also know that like a contagion, those negative emotions and behaviors can spread from person to person. So as we return to work, we might notice that our coworkers are a little more negative than they used to be and that the organizational culture we left behind has changed to a more negative and pessimistic one. So today I'm going to talk about how negativity can spread, what it can do to your organization, and what you can do to help stop it. Emotional contagion is the phenomenon that individuals tend to express and feel emotions that are similar to, to those of others around them. Have you ever watched TikTok or YouTube videos of babies laughing and you find yourself laughing as well? So this is, that's a simplified version of what I'm talking about. That's the way it works. When people you like or identify with um, or spend a lot of time around, those are the people that are most likely to catch your emotions and the same goes for you. Research has shown that we tend to mirror the feelings, the attitudes, the behaviors of those people that are around us. So if we have generally negative attitudes, guess what? That is spread to the people around us. And one important thing to, thing to note, though, is that negativity is especially contagious. Negative emotions tend to carry more weight. We hang on to them longer. They color our attitudes and our behaviors. For example, consider that you just got a raise. Your article just got published and you got a parking spot right up front this morning. Feeling pretty good, right? You walk into the office and Johnny from accounting says something rude to you. Perhaps there's a mistake in your TPS report. Now, all those positive feelings are gone, and all you can think about is that negative comment. It will impact your work and your interactions with others for a long time. We tend to pay more attention to it. We tend to fixate on the bad stuff, and the impacts of it usually last much longer than do the positive things. We can and, and we do dwell on negative feedback and comments from others, but we can also be influenced by negative self-talk. Maybe you keep replaying over and over and over that stupid thing you said in last week's meeting. Think about that for a minute and think about how you hold on to your negativity and how you might impact your interactions with others by doing so, impacting interactions with your family, your friends, and your coworkers. Negative attitudes tend to lead to negative behaviors, but because it, it's usually socially unacceptable or even illegal to resort to physical violence, um, those bad behaviors tend to be a little more ambiguous um, and take a more subtle tone, like general rudeness and incivility. So we, while we can't uh, punch Johnny in the gut for his rude comment, we might do things like ignore him when he speaks to us. Um, maybe he calls and it takes us five or six rings before we pick up. Maybe uh, we drink the last pot of coffee um, so that he doesn't have any. Those kinds of things. 
that's general incivility. And the problem with that is, while you might think it's not a big deal, if left unchecked, it can quickly become the norm in your organization. It can spiral out of control. It can increase in intensity and frequency. It can result in poor customer service, high turnover, low job satisfaction, um, and an increased likelihood that your company will suffer litigation. So that's just some of the things that can happen. But I do have some good news. There are things that you can do as a leader to make a difference. First, focus on yourself. Understand that you're a role model for others and people are gonna tend to mirror your attitudes and behaviors. Serve as the example and others will follow. Work to try to avoid negative negativity when possible and pay attention to what information you choose to read, what media you consume, the people that you choose to spend time with, because negativity tends to come from those sources. Look, I understand it's not easy to control negative thoughts and, and you're not going to be able to, but you can let them come and let them go without hanging on to them you're probably going to have hundreds of these thoughts per day. Just be aware. Be mindful of what you say in front of others, to others, or even to yourself. Try to avoid negative comments that can influence the emotions and attitudes that we have and the emotions and attitudes of everyone around us. And even if you don't say anything, people can still pick up on a bad attitude. Be aware of the energy that you're bringing to the office. And that's a good start. So now, how do we bring everyone else along? Start by sharing your vision for the new culture with everyone in the organization. Your employees are not going to be excited about having more mandates, but gaining their buy-in by sharing your vision of what's in store will help, um, help let them see what you have in mind. And chances are they're going to, they're going to share in your vision and do what you need them to do. Doing that will help them see what you're trying to achieve and let them know what's in it for them. You might think it's unnecessary, but set clear guidelines about what is considered to be acceptable behavior and make sure they're followed because guidelines are nothing if they're not enforced. Don't stand for gossip or incivility. And remember that it didn't happen overnight. Your culture isn't going to change back to the way it was overnight. Um, in fact, it may be better but it's going to take time and it's going to take effort. So be consistent. And when all else fails, you may need to get rid of those who don't conform to the new way of doing things. But think about what that will do for your organization. So while you can't eliminate all the negativity in the world, you can prevent it from impacting your organizational culture. So go stamp out negativity and make your culture a positive one.